Good morning, my love. Happy Sunday. This morning, we are talking about rejection. Whether you're 8 or 80, we've all faced rejection. Some harder than others. For me, the hardest rejection to see is for a little one, a child. You know, there may be a toddler, and they're crying. They have a boo-boo. They woke up from a bad dream, and they go running over to somebody for a hug. And they say, no, you're fine. And they push them away. That's rejection. And that's awful. Please never do that to a child. If, it, you know, a kiddo wants a hug, give them a hug. If I don't care if they're 17 and they want a hug, give them a hug. Please give them a hug. We need more hugs. So, rejection sucks. I think we can all agree on that. It might be a job interview you nailed and you knew you had the job. It might be someone you started dating and everything was going fine and then nothing. They ghost you. It might be a relationship you're in and the next thing you know, you're out. Maybe no closure. Maybe they just tell you, yeah, no. That's rejection. Maybe somebody had a party that you'd always gone to Except this year you weren't invited. Rejection sucks. But what you don't realize is you're sitting there crying, your feelings are hurt, you're mad, you're angry, asking yourself, what did I do wrong? What did I do to deserve this? I want you to think about something. God sees all, knows all, hears all. Honey, he knows what's in their heart. He knows their true intentions. You don't. They might be telling you one thing to your face and it's something completely different behind your back. God knows this. If it's a job interview that you knew you had and you really wanted, that might be a really toxic work environment. It would have just been a catastrophe. Maybe the country was or the company was going to go under in a couple of months about it. God knows all. Instead of getting upset, just look up and say thank you for having my back. People that you thought you could rely on, you thought were your friends, when they start disappearing, don't doubt yourself. Never doubt yourself. As long as you're honest, you're a good friend, you're loyal, you're respectful and kind. You don't have anything to worry about. God's taking care of it. He's cleaning house for you. He is protecting you. And it, it's hard, you know, because we all get attached to people. And, you know, there's people that you just, oh, you start dating them. And it's like, oh, my gosh, this person is so wonderful and so perfect. From our perspective. From God's perspective. Yeah, probably not so much. Look at it like this. If you have kids, you have um, a 13-year-old and they've started dating and they're crazy about this other person. And you look at this other person and you see the signs and it's like, oh, I don't think so. Of course, your child is smitten. Oh, but you don't understand. They're so cool. They're so handsome. They're so pretty. They're so wonderful. They're so smart. They're so athletic. And you're thinking, don't care. No way. Well, that's kind of how God sees it. He looks down on us and says, No way. I don't think so. Honey, you deserve so much better than this. So instead of getting upset, know he has your back. He is saving you some heartache, some devastation. I know years ago, many years ago, someone I knew was invited on a trip and it was a big trip and they were really really excited about it and they couldn't wait to go and then they got sick and they couldn't go and a car crash the car they were going to be in crashed they would have been killed they're getting sick save them they didn't see it like that they had a little bit of survivor's guilt i should have been in that car god was protecting you honey 
Rejection is protection. When something happens, it's it's protection. It is. Whether you want to call it your guardian angels, somebody looking out for you, it's God. Bottom line, if it's an angel, well, they work for God, so it's okay. But rejection is protection. So the next time somebody tells you, oh, I'll call you this weekend and we'll go out. Oh, I promise I'll I'll text you later with the details. Yeah, we'll let you know about the job interview by the end of the week. And you don't hear from them again. Don't take it personally. Rejection is protection. Just look up and say, thanks for having my back. He always has your back. Saying thank you to him never hurts. We all need a little kindness. Even God. <laughs>